Tonys. Emmys. Golden Globes. The Oscars. The award shows. Hollywood's high holy days. Never an empty seat in the house, guaranteed. And one group is more integral than anyone else. They're the backbones of award season. The Seat Fillers. The Seat Fillers. The Seat Fillers. The Seat fillers. fillers. We are the top four seat fillers in the industry. If we do our job right, no one will ever see an empty seat. And if we do it wrong, we leave a gaping hole in America's heart. As well as a literal gaping hole in the empty seat next to Matt Damon. This masterclass is a six month intensive that trains one to become a professional seat filler. Not only how to fill a seat, but when. You can't just walk into a theater and sit down. God, I wish it were that easy. To be a seat filler takes physical and mental prowess. And with hard work, it can be learned. And we're about to cut away to commercial. Who needs to go to the bathroom? Who wants to get a drink? Matt Damon. No! 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 Oh, come on. You're not sitting on a porta potty. This is the Dolby Theater. Again. I remember the first time I stood. I mean, really stood. Using all my Alexander technique and calmly flexing my abductor longus and engaging my gluteus maximus. Maximus. Do you feel the difference? I do. Exactly. Great job, Mia. Anyone can sit. Wonderful. The real challenge is how to launch out of that seat with grace and a plume when your celebrity returns. Oh my God. Yes, she's amazing. Interaction with celebrities is an intricate web of decisions. One wrong choice and you go from seat filler to seat failure. You sit down next to Brad Pitt, what do you do? Uh, smile and nod. Yes, good. You sit next to Helen Mirren, what do you do? Say hello. No, you never talk to Helen Mirren. No one talks to Helen Mirren. You sit down next to Mel Gibson and you're Jewish, what do you do? Uh, leave? Yes, as fast as humanly possible. Go! Disappointing. The 2017 People's Choice Awards with Big Bang's Jim Parsons, Baby Daddy Jean-Luc Bilodeau and Derek Thieler, and the entire cast of Game of Thrones. And Peter Dinklage gets up and go. Dinklage's inner struggle is so nuanced on Game of Thrones. Totally. Excellent entrance. I love that show. Dragons and sex, come on. Nice relaxed sitting. Oh, great use of the Hepburn armrest technique. And Ryan Reynolds gets up and go. Breached entrance, minus three points. Um, her arm is touching my arm. I don't know where that arm has been. Minus three points, personal space invasion. Hey. Hey. <laughs> My car got stolen this week, and I'm, this place is a little cross. Okay, do I look like someone who cares about your personal problems? Minus five points talking. She smells like cat. Cat. She does smell like cat. <laughs> I have eight cats. <laughs> At the Tonys, you need to know the lyrics to every nominated show. You never know when your section might break into... Alexander Hamilton. The Globes are like a big tailgate. You need to be able to hold your liquor and seat fill at the same time. The sun'll come out. At the Emmys, there's a delicate balance of appropriate laughter. There are comedies that are really dramas. Seriously, one wrong laugh and Ryan Murphy will cut a bitch. 525,600 men. <laughs> I've spent decades perfecting the art of celebrity adjacent. Remember that Ellen selfie from the 2014 Oscars? Of course you do. Recognize that gentleman sitting behind Julia Roberts? That was no accident. We are the best in the business. And this is, is our, our masterclass. masterclass.